Good morning from Seattle. Uh, we stopped at the uh, rest stop last night. We made our way over to the uh, whole, whole paycheck, Whole Foods. Got some goodies. Got myself a, a giant kombucha. The boys got some uh, some stuff over there too. Uh, Josh got some more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for his stomach. Uh, Cody's excited about that. Uh, today we're gonna head over towards some ice caves. I'd tell you more, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's hit the road. to the big four ice caves. It's about a mile hike from the uh, parking area. There's quite a few little flies. There's a bunch of little berries along the way, so if you know how to spot them, then they get some free fruit salad. This is a comforting sign here. Ice caves kill. So maybe they're actually what I like. ice. I definitely feel like I'm finally burning off those donuts I had over Voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> About time, I can feel it too. You guys uh, like blueberries? I love them. Yeah? I like them. All right, you guys are gonna have to split this, all right? Split So this. we just came across a wild blueberry and there's one left on the whole bush. Right, there. right there's two <laughs> left on the whole bush. Actually, there's three, bro. There's, there. there's three left on the whole bush. One for each of us. Yeah. This one has a heart on it. Yeah. You think they're good? Made for you. Cheers. I feel like we just took some kind of like pill or something. <laughs> was that really a blueberry? I took the blue one. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't blueberry, that was poison berry. <laughs> I mean, it did taste like a blueberry. Is that really a blueberry? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Eating bears left and right. Just noticed something I gotta tell you about. So right about here, it's about 70 degrees. And I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking. And all of a sudden, it gets like maybe 50 degrees. And the closer I get and the closer I get, the colder and colder the air becomes. Now it's like 40 degrees. And it keeps on getting colder and colder. Woo! It's like I jumped inside a freezer. This is insane. It seriously does feel like a freezer. Oh my god, I wonder if I can start to see my breath yet. <laughs> this is so nuts. My god. We're literally can, in a freezer. You can see the steam. The temperature difference coming off the ice right here. This is absolutely crazy. Dude, dude, snow! I and it, and you can <laughs> and you can hear the sound of you know, I don't know if I would go on those ones guys. Um, so up here you can you can see it just raining from the ceiling it's absolutely crazy but there is uh, steam coming out of this one from the temperature difference and uh, there's a lot of water just falling down right there Whew. all right
As you can see, we got melting snow. And right in front of us is what used to be an ice cave. So I think this is the part where, where they said ice caves can kill because that's a couple thousand pounds probably right there. So you just get squashed. cave right there it goes all the way through that one to me looks a little bit safer than the last one <laughs> that last one man there was like ice falling down left and right thankfully not on us it's legit raining it's raining <laughs> on a on a completely clear day out here wow that's it's raining oh my gosh it feels so good in here but just like the sign said it's dangerous. Who knows when this thing is going to fall down. I love the blue color in the cave. Here's what inside the cave looks like. And this is what looking outside the cave looks like. It is uh, pretty surreal. This is not a view that many people see in their lifetimes. explain briefly where we are and what we did so far. The uh, first ice cave thing we went in was over there. The second was up there. So the third is just on the other side of this small, well it looks small, this small rock right here. Josh is in that one. I believe this is the fourth one and uh, I want to show you guys what exactly is going on in this particular ice cave. There's a waterfall coming down from up there by the sun and it is flowing through the ow, cave. And as you can see, there is snow that is falling right here. Cody's running through all the way, but there's a crap ton of water coming through this entire ice cave here. So, this is absolutely stunning. I've never seen anything like this before, except the three over there. Now that's magical. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this is a forbidden fruit on, on the tree because, like, this is insane. Like, I want to go inside so bad and check out this waterfall, but at the same time, I don't, <laughs> I don't want all this ice to fall on me. All right, screw it. I'm going in. Went in, coming out. I got my shot. Getting rained on. Life is good. Whew. But man, this sure is. A surreal experience. I know I'm afraid of heights, but I think my fear is just of death. And I don't know why, because it doesn't make any sense at all. I've never died before in this life, perhaps others. these guys are. <laughs> Cody is absolutely soaked. You can see on his t-shirt, his whole hair is wet, camera's soaked. Yo, uh, yeah, look at this camera, bro. Josh's camera's soaked, hair is soaked, everything from head to toe. Worth it. faced with a challenge here. We are the blue dot. There is a road that goes through through Bed Bedall over here to Darrington. That's uh, 23 miles according to that sign over there. Uh, the question is, do we go 23 miles on a freaking dirt road? Man, that doesn't sound like a good idea to me, but shoot, let's do it. You only live once.
interesting thing just happened. Uh, North Cascades National Park, keyword national park, starts like a half mile that way or a quarter mile that way. So in a national park, you're not supposed to camp in anywhere except a campground. Uh, so anyways, we, we flipped to you and we found this dirt road which led us down to this little turnaround spot and it has a no camping sign but it doesn't say you can't park here overnight so I'm a little confused. So I think we're going to camp here over, park here, keyword park, overnight. We're not, no tents, not saying they have any tents so I think we're alright. Because look at this, toilet. and there's a toilet, yeah. and there's a toilet. So uh, this is our spot right here. And just to show you where we are, we are right next to the water. Um, this is so beautiful. And if, if I'm correct that I can park here overnight, this is one of the most amazing locations that uh, I will have the pleasure of calling home. By the way, this is all snow melt, snow melt, and I guarantee you it's freezing cold. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's freezing cold. Because the propane is not hooked up yet, the temperature of the water will become the temperature of the air inside here overnight. So I think it probably is going to be in my best interest to take a shower right now. So let me show you guys how this operates. There's a little switch right here, which you can't see. And then boom, we got water. And it does illuminate a little bit. Got a little light on there. I'll see you guys shortly. That was one of the most amazing showers ever. I think I've said that a few times on this uh, on this station. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please consider it. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be super fun. It's going to be one of the most amazing views. One of the most amazing lakes that I've ever seen. I already know in advance because I've seen pictures of it. Alright, see you guys.